The Visit is a play written by Swiss author and playwright Friedrich Dürrenmatt, which premiered in 1956 in Zurich under the title Der Besuch der Alten Dame. Dürrenmatt is known for his darkly comic and satirical works that played a role in revitalizing German theater after World War II. His writing was influenced by German playwright Bertolt Brecht, particularly in his use of parables to convey moral lessons. One of the central themes explored in The Visit is the corrupting influence of money. The play is a tragic comedy consisting of three acts and is considered Dürrenmatt's most enduring work as a dramatist. In 1958, it made a successful debut on Broadway, starring Alfred Lunt and Lynn Fontaine and directed by Peter Brooks. The play has been adapted in various forms, including a Hollywood film in 1964, a German opera in 1971, and a 1992 Senegalese film titled Hyenas. Additionally, it inspired a 2001 musical by John Kander and Fred Ebb and a 2020 version by American playwright Tony Kushner in London. The story is set in the fictional town of Gelen in Central Europe, which has been suffering from poverty since the end of World War II. The town's hopes are pinned on the return of Claire Zakanassian, a famous multimillionaire who grew up in Gelen. The town's mayor plans an extravagant welcome, as he anticipates that Claire will share her wealth to rescue Gelen. Complicating matters, it is revealed that Alfred Ill, the town's most well-liked man and the likely future mayor, was once Claire's lover. He is the only person in Gelen who remembers her. Ill's help is enlisted to persuade Claire to give money to the town. However, Claire's early arrival disrupts their plans, and she arrives with her seventh husband and a bizarre entourage, including a coffin. Claire takes Ill to places where they had shared moments in the past and confronts him for leaving her to marry Matilda Blumhard, a woman from a wealthy family. This decision led Claire to leave Gelen and end up working in a brothel until she married a billionaire. Ill justifies his actions, claiming he did it to rescue Claire from a bleak future in Gelen. Claire eventually announces her intention to give a million pounds to Gelen, with half going to the town and the other half to the townspeople. However, she presents a shocking condition, she wants someone to kill Ill in exchange for the money. The mayor initially rejects this inhumane offer, but Claire insists she will wait for their decision. In Act 2, the townspeople, aware of Claire's offer, begin to spend recklessly on credit, expecting to benefit from her money. Ill, realizing that he is in danger, seeks help from the policeman, the mayor, and the priest, but they are also spending extravagantly. Terrified, Ill tries to escape to the train station, pursued by the entire town. Afraid of being captured, he misses the train and collapses in fear, with the townspeople abandoning him. In Act 3, the doctor and the schoolmaster approach Claire, proposing that she invest in the town rather than making a gift. However, Claire reveals that she already owns everything in Gelen and deliberately orchestrated its economic downfall. Back in Ill's store, townspeople continue to make purchases on credit. Some men from town ensure Ill doesn't speak to the press. After a vote on Claire's offer, with only Ill opposing it, the men of the town strangle him. Claire hands over a check to the mayor, and Ill's body is placed in the coffin. Claire, accompanied by her luggage, the coffin, and townspeople singing her praises, heads to the train station. The townspeople pray for their own good fortune, while Claire promises to take Ill's body to a mausoleum in Capri, ensuring he is near her forever. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.